Right, good morning everybody. It's a lovely um, sunny at the moment, but there are a few clouds in the sky. Um, Monday morning and um, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Babsy and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from a little village called Deanshanger in South North Hants. Welcome and thank you for joining me. We've got a little project today um, using the in colours from 2019 to 2021 in the Stamping Up catalogue. Morning Carol, lovely of you to join me. I hope you're well. We're focusing on the colours today. Um, Stamping Up have a whole range of colours, regular colours that they stock all the time, which is regal, subtles, brights and neutrals. But alongside that, they always have a run of two colours called in colours. Now, these are the ones that have been going for over a year now. And these are, um, are in the catalogue for the second year running. So that's Purple Posy, Seaside Spray, Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile and Pretty Peacock. And I have to say, they are um, some of my favourite colours. Terracotta Tile I love and I'm getting used to Rococo Rose, although I um, only really started to um, really get into the colour recently. But these, the Pretty Peacock and the Seaside Spray and Purple Posy, I'm always using. They're lovely. So that's enough of my um, likes. Um, we're going to use the beautiful friendship. So um, stamp set. So as I was saying, stamping up have two lots of colours. So this one will finish next June. And then they will have a new set. The current one that was new this year... I haven't got samples with me at the moment, but they are Misty Moonlight, Magenta Madness, um, Bumblebee, Just Jade and Cinnamon Cider. And they're lovely colours as well. Um, but they complement the standard four sets that, that I said before, Regal, Subtles, Brights and Neutrals. They are complementary um, stamps. They only run two years. Um, and then that gives it new blood to come in and um, have some new colours. So these are the ones we're using. And specifically today, it is Seaside Spray and Purple Posy. And this is a stamp set we use. We've seen a lot of demonstrators doing one sheet wonders with this. But I am actually just going to create a card um, straight off. So, um, oh, I've Hello, lost you. Just a minute. Thank you for watching my two just bear with me a moment. I'm, that's an update that's come through and um, that's it. <laughs> uh, it was an update that came through that went straight to screen. <laughs> Deary me. Right, so this is a stamp set we're using, Beautiful Friendship. And as I said, we've seen lots of demonstrators doing one sheet wonders with these. But um, I'm going to actually focus on um, individual colours. Um, so we're doing tone on tone, so it's one coloured card, and I'll explain that in a minute. We'll put that aside, get rid of my, put those up there for now, and bring in my cardstock. So for the base, I've gone for a very vanilla Um I like this because it tones in with almost everything. And then we have a layer of terracotta tile. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> I've already made that one. So terracotta tile. And then we have a layer of purple posy. But we're not going to stamp straight onto this. We are actually going to use another layer of very vanilla. And this is what we are going to stamp on so it's not quite tone on tone but you'll see why in a moment so first of all we'll do the purple posy 
Now the stamps I'm using are a photopolymer stamp. I'm just going to reach down and get some um, scrap paper so that I can stamp actually. I don't quite know why that's scamped. That shouldn't be in there. That's really funny. Right. So that's my scrap paper on there. Now, as I was saying, <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked today. The stamps I'm using are photopolymer. Oh, good morning, Linda. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're well. And we're going to use this large, um, this one here. It looks like a hydrangea when it's stamped, and we're going to use that one. We're also going to use this little one here, which is um, like a lilac, or what's the one that grows over the doors? Oh, I should know that. Wis wisteria, like a wisteria. And our sentiment's going to be, birthdays are the best days, and then I've got some leaves here. So what we're going to do is to create a card just using one colour. So this one I'm going for Purple Posy. Now, Purple Posy's stamp ink pad, sorry, was a, um, a bit hit and miss last year and we did have quite a lot of issues with it. But Stamping Up will never release anything that doesn't quite work. And the colour strain in the ink pad wasn't stable. Just meant that every time it was being used, the colour wouldn't stay true. So you'd stamp it one day and it would be one colour, stamp it the next day and it would be something different. So that's why they re withdrew it. So um, the quality of stamping up products are really second to none and I, I say that because um, they look after um, the quality of their stamps and um, inks their die cutters and everything like that they are really good good quality right so you can see that has um, stamped that variegated color there and it's what's known as a distinctive stamp. So you get, it is one stamp, as you can see what I'm doing, but it will give gradients of colour. So I've got one at the corner and one at this corner here. And then we're going to take our leaf, oh no, no, not our leaf. <laughs> we're going to take our... Um, Buddleia or Wisteria or however you might like to call it. And I've got a little bit of ink on the edge of my block. So I'm just wiping that off. As if you rock it, it will um, lean li leave lines on your page. So I'm just taking this one to the side. Doing one there and then I'm going to stamp another one inside. Like that. So that's called second generation second generation oh hello Tracy that's nice of you to join us that's really kind thank you so again second generation it's really pale but that's what we want it's the effect so it joins in with the distinctive stamp of the hydrangea because you get the the patterns as I said before right I don't think we need any more of those um, we might have one later on if I can uh, squeeze it in I do love this one and then I'm going to take this one this is um, got three leaves and again it is distinctive again in the same um, ink pad and what I want to do is to give the impression that the leaves are coming out from the flower. 
So we'll have that one there. And we'll have another one up here. Oh, that didn't stamp too well. Let's see if I can get... Oh, no, I see. It's right. Okay. See, I've splodged it already. I wonder where that one came from. I didn't think I'd got any ink on that edge. So I must have done. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll cover it up in a minute, I dare say. So let's put another one on the bottom here. And perhaps we'll have one through those two there and another one just, whoops, just there. I actually think I might do that full strength because this is so um, light. No, maybe not. I can't actually see that. It's so light I can't get the edges, so I'm going to leave it. Yes, I think that's fine. We'll just leave that one now. So there we are, and now we want our sentiment. Our sentiment's going to go right in the middle. Oh, hello, Tracy. I hope you're well. Nice of you to join me. So we're going to aim this one up here and see if we can't get the um, blob out of the way. It might fail, but here we go. No, I'm not. I'm going to move it down so I can't. I'm. I'll have to deal with that some other way. I'm not quite sure what, but we'll think of something. So there we go. Birthdays are the best days. So that's a purple posy. So we'll just put that aside for the moment. And then we'll do the terracotta tile. And I'm just looking for my stamp cleaner, which is here, hiding underneath the stamps. And I'm just going to give these a clean. And we'll do exactly the same... <clears throat> with the other colour. <clears throat> so again, we'll have the terracotta tile. Lightly stamping it. We'll have one down here. And one up in the corner. I'm going to clean that straight off because it's um, the red pink pigment in the colour in the ink will um, stain the stamp on. <clears throat> People say that if your stamps are stained it means that you've been working with them and they've been good it's a good practice you know it's good practice to clean your stamps but if your stamps have got ink on it it doesn't affect the um 
the stamping of the stamp but what it does do it um, stops you seeing the edges and the, gives you clarity of where the stamps are being stamped does that make sense <laughs> as I said that that didn't didn't quite sound sound right but I think you get my gist so here we go again we're going to do one and two and then again on this one we'll have a darker one and then a lighter one there and again I'm going to stamp that off and then straight into the um, cleaner and again some leaves <clears throat> I love this textured leaf and I'm going to wipe the edges of this so I don't I've got quite big hands and <laughs> sometimes I um, I rock the, rock the um, block as I'm putting them down. And that's probably what gives the edge on the card. There we are. And one in the corner. Yeah, I like that. There we go. Oh, and we want the sentiment. Right, stamp that one off, get it cleaned. There we are. And then back to the sentiment. And again, using the same sentiment, straight in the middle. Try and keep it square. And what I was thinking with these cars was that it's a quite simple thing to do. It's easy and straightforward. And if you had, say, um, a pack of four or five cards um, together, you could do them really quickly um, because you weren't fussing about with different inks and that. So if you put four together in sort of purple posy or four together in the seaside spray you could actually package them together and give them away as um little notelets or something like that or just for a present for somebody um to give them to give them a stash of birthday cards or get well cards or you could do two sentiments like you could have a happy birthday sentiment and you could have a happy anniversary sentiment and just change up the middle so you weren't sort of um coping with too many different stamp sets you know um different stamps um or you could just create the edges and just to please yourself what your sentiment um that you put your sentiment afterwards um it was just an idea that i had of packaging them all together um and then giving them as a gift um that was the idea so let's go back to this purple posy and see what we can do with this little bit of a blunder that i've made we could actually take this one a little bit further up as um Let's try that. It might be too much, but um, let's see if it works. I haven't done it on any of the others, but who's to say this is not the one to be different? So, right, if we take that just off the side there. It's not going to quite make it, is it? 
No, I don't think that one's going to work. Right. Um, oh, I do have another idea. Right. Just one moment. Right, let's just clean that one off. Get the ink off of that one. I'm just having a look at... Um, yeah, we could. We could, we could, we could. I've got these adorable butterfly gems and they're all in these in colours so you could actually just put a butterfly there I mean strictly speaking it's supposed to be simple stamping but, <laughs> but you know when needs must we'll just have two little butterflies there There we go, you'd never know it was only different. And we have to have another one. So it doesn't look odd. There we go. We'll leave that as it is. Right. Let's get um, adhering this to the card and then I'll show you some of the other ideas I had um, for this style of card. Now I normally do a simple card on a Monday and then it gets stepped up on a Wednesday and then changed again on the Friday but I thought I might do something a little bit different and that is to show you today a stepped up card and then changing what we're doing on Wednesday in as much as we're still going with the same stamp set but we're using the other other stamps in it And then hopefully Friday we'll have a nice fun fold for you or um, a different type of card. Maybe not just a fun fold, but might not be labelled as a fun fold, but just as a different card. So having those two layers on that card, I think it really does make it pop. I don't do it very often, but... Um, I do think it I do think the effect is really nice. So that's that one. There are lots and lots of um demonstrators who have had this stamp set from last year's character because it was a carryover from last year and they've done some amazing things with it so if you wanted to have a look um, at some of the others just um, type in um, stamping up um, beautiful friendship stamp set by stamping up and you will get some amazing cards that people have made. But I'm all about bringing um, an easier way round to making cards and a straightforward, a bit more straightforward. And when I do fun folds, I try and get them so that almost anybody could do them. You know, I don't, I don't go too mad. I've had some lovely projects in the past where I've done 
um, boxes that fold out and they've got little tears on them and all sorts of things. I've done all of that, but um, they are a bit complicated and um, they need a lot of concentration. <laughs> So those two are the ones we've done today. So this one's terracotta tile and this one is purple posy. Oh, the other thing I meant to say was, um, because Stamping Up aren't selling the ink pad anymore because it's, it's unstable, as I said, you can get the same results by using the Highland Heather and just doing a second generation. And it's almost exact match to the colour so if you ink up your stamp in this I'll, I'll do one for you so if you ink up your we'll do the large hydrangea and then you can see it better I wonder if I've got a piece of uh, very vanilla because stamping on white isn't quite the same yes there's a There's a piece of berry vanilla here, so we'll put that on the foam. So if I stamp that off and then stamp it on here, it's not quite quite a good mat. It's quite a good print, but I mean, if you were, if you're a bit more careful than I was, so you can see it's really sorry, <laughs> wrong way round. You can see it's really very similar so that's another way of getting this color just clean that off again there we go so that's those two I really like that layout as well. And these are the other three that I have done. Um, this one is the um, Rococo Rose. So all I've used is a circle um, die that's got a stitched edge on it. And then I just cut that out. Put this up on dimensionals and then just put the greeting inside and then just added a bow so that's really quite simple but you would have to have a die cutting machine to do that or you could do it with a punch if you had a punch um, you could do that with a punch it's just that it would be a plain circle um, rather than the stitched but um, you know it can be done so if you had a punch you could do that one so this one is um stepped up again now this one is using um the layering square framelits and i've taken two of the framelits out and cut two squares so i cut the outer one twice and then i put the inner one inside and then put that through the big shot again it does need a die cutting machine to achieve that but um, with a lovely effect, I think you'll see. And then the third one is the Seaside Spray. And this one's using a die cut from the um, painted labels dies. And I think I've got it over here. Yeah. So this is the one from the painted labels dies. And that's just gone through on a piece of silver. And then I've cut a circle um, slightly smaller than this one with that stitched edge and just um, taken that out of the middle. So I've, I've taken that out of the middle with a smaller circle die than this one. And then I've just stuck this with dimensionals onto the card where the hole is and then just pop that on top. But as I say, they do need they do need a die cutting machine to do that. But there's three very simple ways of how you can um, step up your card, your very simple card. So these are the um, two dies that I've used from 
the layering squares, framelits, to create that one. And then I've got these two circles that I've used. This one is from the stitched shaped framelits. So you get an oval, a circle and a square in that one uh, set. But we're just using the two. So this is the largest one to cut this one out and then the medium one to cut this one out. So there's all the dies that I've used to create those. And the other thought I had was, especially with this one, although the the die cut and that looks really nice, there's another little step that I would like to take with that one. So it's using the solid flower here. And I'm just going to grab some extra pieces of very vanilla. It's not going to be big enough. Yep. You can see I didn't prepare for this bit. <laughs> I just, just literally thought of... Um, moving it up a bit. So this one's terracotta tile. So we'll do the same as before. Just in the same colours. We might even squeeze Some leaves in there. No, it's not going to do two leaves. Let's have another piece. There we go. There we go, so you've got two solid and two that have been stamped off. Oh, thank you, Tracy. That's really kind of you. Thank you. So what I'm going to do now is just to take a pair of scissors and just futticut the um, flowers out of this. There is no die cuts with this stamp set. This is just as you see it. So we're just coming round just to do this very quickly. And you can go as close or as far away as you want. You can have an edge or you don't have an edge. I'm trying to get a tiny edge, but... Um, sometimes I think when you think you're going to cut right up close to the edge, you don't. And actually having that tiny little bit of an edge does give you a little bit of grace. So that whoops. So that's that those two flowers done. And we'll quickly do the leaves if you don't mind waiting just a second. Really chop the leaf off entirely there.
Right, we'll just do two leaves and then I can do the other one at another time. Because you don't really want to sit here watching me cut these out. You want to see what I'm going to do with them. There we go, we'll just do those two now. Right, so the idea was to pop one on top of the other, just like that, and then just to have some leaves on the side, just to create sort of something like that, and then to pop that just on the side there. just to give it a little bit more oomph. Now that is really funny. Oh, you know what I've done? <laughs> oh dear. I've done it in the terracotta tile and it shouldn't have been terracotta tile. It should have been... Because um, that's the one I was going to do. <laughs> okay, well, we'll do it on the terracotta tile then. <laughs> oh, how silly am I? There we go. So let's get those up on dimensionals and then you can see the proper effect. So we'll put one up on dimensionals and then we can tuck the other one in. Oop. And have this one up on dimensionals. We can tuck that one in there, like so. And then those two can just nip underneath there, like so. Tap that one underneath there, and then just have those just on the edge there, so they just catch the edge of that. So there we are. Every card, well, we'll start off with one. They've all got their own embellishment. So this one's got the butterflies on it, this one's the squares, this one's a fancy twirl, that one's the adhered, the stepped up roses, and that one the the ribbon. So there we go. Five lovely cards with the in colours made from, uh, using the in colours from, um, 2019 to 2021 and they will leave us next June and we'll have a brand new set of colours to play with um, but I thought I might you know I thought I'd just bring those to everybody's attention because they are just lovely oh hello Juta sorry I missed you there I was concentrating on on trying to get that cut out <laughs> oh and Carol thank you yeah, it was meant to be Rococo Rose, yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise until I put it up there. I thought, oh, no, that doesn't look right. <laughs> but having said that, actually having to put it on this card meant that every single card started off with a basic card. 
and then it was stepped up. So perhaps it was, um, what do they call it? Um, fate. <laughs> perhaps it was fate that it happened. Because <laughs> uh, every card has got something different. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed that. Um, and uh, as I said, the um, Beautiful Friendship is... Um, available from the Stamping Up catalogue and I know you guys um, are all um, stamping up with Stamping Up um, and you've probably got your own um, you're either demos or you've got your own um, uh, you buy your own products but if there is anybody who is listening that would love the stamp sets or would love some papers and card just um, give me a um, send a message um, you can get through Facebook um, you can send me a message my email accounts on there um, and I'll be happy to oblige so thank you so much for joining me and I'm sorry I've, I've um, not been so attentive at the uh, <laughs> the comments today I was I was um, concentrating <laughs> so thank you again and uh, look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Bye-bye for now.